Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphic Card Repairs. So today we have this uh, Gigabyte Eagle RTX 3090 and this card uh, is reported to be not detected. Uh, the user said that uh, this card doesn't detect when he installs it onto his computer. So let's take some resistance check. Uh, let's measure the resistance. Checking the 12 volt PCIe and we don't have a short here. Let's check 3.3 volts and we don't have a short. Checking the 8 pin and looks like we have an open line. Uh, let's check the second one and we don't have a short here. You can see the capacitors charging as they should. Okay, so uh, taking off the cooler, there's nothing obvious that uh, I can see, no, nothing burnt or anything like that. Let's take some resistance with, uh, without the cooler. Let's take a look at the 12 volt 8 pin again. And this one looks fine, there's nothing wrong. Looking at the fuse and this side of the fuse looks like we have a short. So which is connected to this particular inductor. And uh, you can see that uh, it's a short circuit there. Checking the fuse. And we have the same 9K reading that we got on the 8 pin earlier. Okay, so this is the fuse that is blown and it's connected to the inductor on the left. Let's check that again. And we have the same 9K. So it's a, it's this this fuse is an open line, so I may have to uh, you know replace it. Let's check uh, the MOSFETs. And let's see under the microscope if there's anything that I can see. As of now, there's nothing, nothing obvious. Let's take a look on the other side. Everything looks okay to me. So uh, let's connect a wire. So I've connected the, the jumper so that I can inject some voltage here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject 5 volts and 4.5 amps uh, because there's nothing blown. So uh, it may take a higher voltage than normal. Let's test it up. Injecting voltage now. And I can see a MOSFET that's glowing. Okay, so let's mark it with a pen. This is the best pen that I have, but it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Okay, so the shortened MOSFET has been removed. Uh, let's take some resistance. And our short is gone. Okay, so I'll replace this 20 amp fuse and uh, proceed.
Okay, let's check the resistance again. And we don't have a shot. I'll put this car on the bench, our test bench, and uh, see if uh, we get a picture. So the car is on the test bench and uh, let's boot it up and check if we have a picture. If we do, I'll shut it down and uh, replace the MOSFET. There you go. Let's turn this thing off and uh, replace the MOSFET. Let's put a new one there. Okay, so this is the last MOSFET that I have. I may have to reorder. I don't have any more in stock. Let's prepare this uh, MOSFET and the card. Okay, so the new MOSFET has been installed and uh, let's check the resistance again. Just to make sure that, uh, you know, we don't have a shot. And it's all good. Let's check on the other side of the fuse. Everything is looking good. So with, this is a good sign. All resistances are absolutely normal. Let's boot this card and uh, check if we get a picture. If yes, I'll install the cooler and start into Windows. And we have a picture. Let's turn this thing off and install uh, the cooler. 
Okay, so the cooler has been installed. Let's put this back on the bench and uh, you know boot into Windows and uh, do a cup you know a couple of stress tests for a couple of hours. Booting into Windows now. Starting the car up. Now, if, if you watched my previous video, you know, you must have seen that uh, that card was burnt and the reason it was burnt is it had no fuses at all. Uh, you know, Gigabyte, one thing that I know is uh, even their lower end models, like the Eagle, it's still, they, they still have uh, fuses on it. And that's the best thing about Gigabyte that I like uh, is the fuses, even on the lower end models. So uh, if you don't see any hole on this board is only because of those fuses. So uh, it's one lesson that every uh, AIB partner should learn is to install fuses so that uh, their graphic card is absolutely normal and doesn't uh, blow up or like burn up the PCB and you know it comes to some repair center to you know to uh, to drill a hole to get rid of it to get rid of the shot I mean okay so uh, the drivers have been installed uh, I'll uh, open GPU Z and uh, Heavens Valley and Fermark so I'm going to run the stress test uh, I'm going to run it for at least an hour just to make sure that uh, our card is absolutely stable and uh, if it is it's going back to its owner so this card has come from Saudi Arabia and uh, once it's done it's going to be sent back so I think uh, that's about it about for this video and uh, if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this and uh, thank you for watching you have a good day. Bye for now. Cheers.